Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and this is how you find X for this problem right here. So, uh, this may look a little tricky, uh, but if we use our good old highlighter uh, to help us focus our eyes on what we need, um, it'll be a little more manageable. So, here's our 107 degree angle, and the vertex is right on the circle. So, we have this angle which is an inscribed angle because the vertex is on the circle. And so this inscribed angle, its intercepted arcs are, or arc is this entire arc right here. Uh, let's actually use a different color just to make it a little more colorful and, uh, and we can see it just a little better. So uh, this right here, our inscribed angle and its intercepted arc. So this neon angle is eating this orange arc right here. And if you guys remember, um, if you don't, then I'm going to tell you. So if you guys remember, the inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc or its intercepted arc is twice the measure of the inscribed angle. So, uh, one way we can do this is we take this 107 degrees and because it's half the measure of its intercepted arc, we're going to double it to make it equal to its intercepted arc and set equal to 9x minus 2 plus 90 degrees. So this entire arc is 9x minus 2 plus this arc, which is 90 degrees. And we're just going to solve it. Um, so we're going to take this two and multiply it by 107, which is 214. I don't think I needed a calculator for that one, but well, I already used it. So, and then we're going to combine like terms over here. Negative two plus 90 is 88. And then we're going to take this 88 and bring it over to this side by subtracting the 88 on both sides. These cancel out, 214 minus 88, make sure that's a negative, or minus 88 is 126 equals 9x. And the opposite of multiplication, because this is 9 times x, it's division. So we'll divide both sides by 9. These 9s cancel out. And let's see if we get a whole number. So divided by 9, which is 14. So x is equal to... 14, not 14 degrees, uh, but it's just 14. And there you have it. That's how you figure out what X is when you have an inscribed angle that eats two arcs. You just add those two arcs together and set it equal to two times that inscribed angle. Hope that helps. Have a great day.